Have you ever wondered why there's no calculator app on your iPad? It's a question that's likely crossed your mind at least once, especially if you've ever found yourself in a pinch needing to do a quick calculation. You might have swiped through your iPad screens, puzzled and slightly frustrated, wondering why there's a calculator on your iPhone, but none on your iPad. It's an intriguing mystery, isn't it? You see, the iPad and the iPhone, they're both Apple products. They're both sleek and sophisticated pieces of technology that we've come to rely on for various tasks. And yet, one has a feature that the other seemingly lacks. It's like a puzzle with a missing piece. Now, you might be thinking, well, maybe it's not that big of a deal. After all, there are plenty of third-party apps out there that can do the job, but it's not really about whether you can get a calculator on your iPad. It's about why there isn't one already there. Why, despite being such a fundamental tool, has the calculator app been conspicuously absent from the iPad? Is it an oversight on Apple's part? Or perhaps there's a more deliberate reasoning behind it. Maybe, just maybe Apple's decision to omit the calculator app from the iPad was not an accident, but a calculated move. So let's delve a little deeper into this mystery. Let's try to unravel the enigma of the missing calculator app on the iPad. What could be the rationale behind such an unconventional decision? What might Apple's official statement reveal about this intriguing absence? And most importantly, what does this tell us about the iPad itself? After all, the devices we use are often a reflection of the thought processes and philosophies of their creators. So buckle up and prepare for a deep dive into the world of Apple's design and decision making. Because the absence of a calculator app on the iPad is not just a trivial detail, it's a clue, a breadcrumb left behind that might just lead us to a deeper understanding of Apple's vision and strategy. Let's dive into the official reasoning behind Apple's decision. So what does Apple have to say about this absence? From the horse's mouth itself, Apple's official statement gives a rather straightforward explanation. The tech giant firmly believes that an iPad is not a phone, and thus, serves different purposes. In their view, the iPad is a device geared towards more complex tasks. With its large screen and powerful processing capabilities, the iPad is seen as a tool that can handle much more than basic phone functions. It's a device for creating, designing, editing, and exploring. It's an artist's canvas, a writer's notebook, a filmmaker's storyboard, and a scientist's lab notebook all rolled into one. In the midst of these high-powered tasks, a calculator might seem like a quaint and unnecessary addition. A calculator app, in Apple's view, is a simple utility that doesn't need the vast expanse of an iPad screen. It's a small, basic function, perfectly suited for a phone, but perhaps out of place on a device designed for grander pursuits. Apple's statement also subtly highlights the company's design philosophy. They've always strived for simplicity and minimalism, removing any elements that they deem unnecessary or redundant. This ethos is evident in everything from their sleek product designs to their streamlined user interfaces. In this context, the lack of a calculator app on the iPad can be seen as a manifestation of this philosophy. So, to put it simply, Apple does not include a calculator app on the iPad because they believe it's a tool that doesn't need one. It's a device designed for complex tasks, and a calculator app, in their view, doesn't fit into that picture. It's a bold stance, certainly, and one that has stirred plenty of discussion among users, but that's Apple for you. Always willing to buck the trend, always ready to challenge the status quo, and always keen to do things their way. But could there be other reasons behind this decision? Let's explore some other potential reasons behind this decision. One of the reasons could be related to the iPad's larger screen size. The expansive screen real estate of the iPad compared to the iPhone could potentially make a calculator app more cumbersome to use. For instance, your fingers might need to travel further to reach the various numbers and functions, which could slow down the speed at which you make calculations. Another possibility is that Apple might have been reluctant to develop a separate calculator app specifically for the iPad. We know that Apple is a company that values design and functionality. As such, they may not have wanted to simply stretch out the iPhone's calculator app to fit the iPad's larger screen, as this could lead to a less than stellar user experience. Instead, they might have chosen to focus their resources on enhancing other aspects of the iPad's software experience. Yet another reason could be the existence of numerous third-party calculator apps available in the App Store. The App Store is teeming with a wide array of calculator apps, many of which offer more advanced features than the basic calculator app found on the iPhone. 
These apps provide options for scientific calculations, graphing, and even financial calculations. Therefore, Apple might have decided that the lack of a built-in calculator app wouldn't be a significant issue, given that users have many other options at their fingertips. Of course, these are all speculative reasons. Apple has never explicitly stated why they chose not to include a calculator app on the iPad. Regardless of the reasons, it's clear that the decision was intentional and not an oversight. Despite the absence of a default calculator app, there are other ways to perform calculations on your iPad. Don't worry, you're not left in the lurch when it comes to crunching numbers on your iPad. Sure, there's no built-in calculator app, but let's walk through a few alternative methods to fill that gap. First, we have Spotlight Search. It's a handy tool that's often overlooked. Just swipe down from the middle of your home screen to bring it up. Type in your math problem directly into the search bar, and voila, an instant calculator at your fingertips. From simple additions to more complex calculations, Spotlight Search is there to help. Next up, we have the Control Center. It's a one-stop shop for many of your iPad's features. You might be surprised to find out that it's also home to a calculator widget. Swipe down from the top right corner of your screen to access the Control Center. There, you'll find a plethora of handy widgets, including one for quick calculations. It's not as robust as a full-blown calculator app, but it's perfect for those quick sums you need to do on the fly. Finally, let's not forget about third-party apps. The App Store is brimming with calculator apps designed specifically for the iPad's larger screen. Some of them are free, others come with a small price tag, but all of them offer a wide range of features from basic arithmetic to scientific calculations and even graphing capabilities. You're sure to find one that suits your needs. Just head over to the App Store, type calculator into the search bar and explore the options. So, there you have it. Three alternative ways to use a calculator on your iPad. It's not the traditional route, but it's certainly not a dead end. Remember, sometimes the road less traveled can lead to some exciting discoveries. So, while it may seem odd at first, there are plenty of ways to calculate on your iPad. Let's quickly recap what we've learned today. The absence of a calculator app on the iPad has sparked a lot of curiosity among its users. Apple's official statement suggests that the iPad, unlike the iPhone, is not primarily a device for simple tasks, such as calculations. It's meant for more complex tasks, and thus, the company believes, doesn't require a calculator app. However, there could be other reasons behind this design choice. The larger screen size of the iPad compared to the iPhone could make the use of a calculator app somewhat cumbersome. It's also possible that Apple didn't want to invest in designing a specific calculator app for the iPad when there are already so many third-party calculator apps available in the App Store for users to download. But just because there isn't a calculator app pre-installed on your iPad, it doesn't mean you are left without options. You can still perform calculations on your iPad using the Spotlight Search function. Simply type Calculator into the search bar, and you can start calculating. The Control Center also offers a calculator widget for quick calculations. And of course, there are numerous third-party calculator apps available in the App Store that you can download and use on your iPad. In summary, while it might seem odd that a device as versatile and powerful as the iPad doesn't come with a built-in calculator, there are plenty of alternative ways to perform calculations. It's all about finding the method that suits you best and adapting it to your needs. Thanks for joining us today. Remember, just because something isn't there by default doesn't mean you can't find a way to make it work.